I'm indigenous, so working with an indigenous population is very important to me because, you know, of intergenerational trauma and all the things that indigenous people have faced due to colonization. I just wanted to give back. Yeah, so March 2020, that was kind of a crazy time just because, you know, we were already going through a pandemic of our own, you know, with the op opioid crisis. The global pandemic, it just added this like extra layer of, I don't know, fear, not only for us as workers, but for our clients. We weren't included when nurses were getting vaccinated. We weren't included, you know, when factory workers were getting vaccinated, all of these different call outs and there was no mention of social workers and yet we have been going into homes the entire time. I think that's just happens with social work in general. I don't think a lot of people really think about it that much. I know I didn't before I became a social worker, but I think like the fact that it took so long for us to get vaccinated put us at risk and put our, um, our clients at risk. You know, it's kind of causing our mental health to deteriorate a bit because we're taking on so much more. Not having face-to-face -face counseling available and like, you know, not being able to go see family and friends and kind of decompress that way. And I also think that's having an effect, not just on the social workers, but everyone in the workforce. What keeps us motivated is the families. And I think like, it just, it just feels good to be able to do a job that actually matters and I think that's why most of us get in this job because we want to do something about everything that's happening around us rather than just remaining complacent and you know not speaking up you know that's why we do this work.